The RMS Guest Portal provides a secure online environment where guests can manage their own reservations to make payments, communicate with the property, purchase extras, perform a self-check-in and more. Self-check-in and the associated pre-arrival functions available in the Guest Portal will empower the guest, free up time for reservation staff and streamline the arrival process. In this video, we'll go through the steps needed to automate pre-arrival functionality. First, make sure the guest portal is turned on and ready to go. In the side menu under Setup, choose Portal Access and select Guest Portal. The screen will open in the General Options tab. Ensure this box is checked and then go through each option in each tab to make your selections. The purpose of each function is reasonably obvious, but if in doubt, click on the question mark icon for more information. For pre-arrival options, open the Check-in tab and in the Pre-Check-in Settings sub-tab, enable Pre-Check-in and choose the number of days prior to arrival that this option will be available to the guest. We'll come back to the registration card form letter shortly, but be aware this is where you will select it. Add your preferred message for when the pre-arrival process is successfully completed. Choose your payment option and then select the travel agents excluded from that condition. In the additional information tab, disabling the COVID-19 declaration means the guest will not be required to answer these questions. Alternatively, you could delete all of these questions and just have one catch-all question, something like, are all the members of your party currently in good health? If nothing else, if the guest answers with a no, at least you'll be forewarned. In the last sub-tab, you can opt for contactless arrivals and let the guest check themselves in. Also determine to which room types this applies. If arrangements have been made to collect a key, or keys are not required, then why not let the guests check themselves in? This could be especially useful if you have set the check-in to trigger other events, such as texting access codes, welcome letters, or the application of charges. As mentioned, go through each tab, read each option, and choose the ones you want. But let me mention a few that you should consider. In the Message Center Notifications tab, check the boxes next to the actions that you want to be notified about. The notification will appear in the message center. If you have turned on projected balances in the account setup area, you'll have the option in the reservation settings tab of showing the projected balance in the guest portal. If this is new to you, the projected balance calculates the remaining amount payable after taking everything into account, such as deposits, discounts and sundries. It's a useful option if you're requiring the guest to pay the balance prior to or on arrival. As well as your standard terms and conditions, it's now possible to include up to five conditions specific to your operations. An example might be to compel the guest to acknowledge and accept that the swimming pool doesn't have a lifeguard and use of the pool is at the guest's own risk. RMS will store the acceptance of the condition or alert you via the message centre that the guest has failed to do so. Next, under Users, Field Maintenance and in the Guest Portal tab, place a check mark next to only the fields that you want the guest to see and modify. Let's go back and take a closer look at the registration letter we talked about earlier. In Setup, under Correspondence, Form Letters, create a new document saying whatever you want to convey to the guest including details about their booking, instructions on completing the pre-arrival process and anything else they need to know. Most importantly, if you want to capture a digital signature confirming their acceptance of the booking and the conditions, include this merge field. The guest can sign with their finger on a compatible device, a stylus or even the mouse cursor. Once you've done everything we've talked about so far, the guest portal will be up and running and every reservation you make will be available to it. The trick now is to drive the guest to the portal. There are many ways to do this. The RMS online confirmation that is automatically sent to guests contains a link to the guest portal. Any standard communications you send from a reservation 
should contain the link available in the reservation merge field group in form letter setup. These links are also available for text messages, SMS. Clicking on these links will take the guest directly to the portal and bypass the login screen. It's not a bad idea to have a generic link to the guest portal via a button on your website or social media. The link is available in the Help Centre. Just replace the X's with your client ID. Guests following this link will need to enter their mobile phone number or email address. Secure login is via a six-digit access code sent to the guest's mobile device. The best way to drive guests to the portal, and specifically to complete a pre-arrival, is via a triggered text message on the day of arrival. Create an SMS with enough information so that the guest is confident it came from you, with instructions to follow the link to complete the pre-arrival process. The guest portal will open on their mobile device. The user interface is intuitive enough that even those with low IT skills can easily work through each step. Prompts and logically labelled and positioned buttons lead the user through the process. You'll be pleasantly surprised how many people will willingly comply with the request to complete the pre-arrival. It's another level of security for them knowing they can exchange information about their reservation with you in real time.